Everyone out there who questioned whether Cybertruck is coming or not, you will be surprised to know that the much-awaited production of the Tesla Cybertruck is about to kick off this year. According to Musk, early manufacturing of the Cybertruck would begin in mid-2023, with mainstream production starting towards the end of the year. In line with this, the Idra Giga Press Casting Equipment, which casts most of the Cybertruck chassis, has been delivered to Tesla Giga Texas and has started construction on the factory floor. Many people don't know this, but Tesla's newest Cybertruck will be made exclusively using casting, which is very unique to this industry. Tesla first requested the Cybertruck Giga casting machines in 2020. However, at the time, both Tesla and Idra agreed on an 8,000-ton version. Later, both companies opted to upgrade the machine to a 9,000-ton model. Tesla had previously created footings for the 8,000-ton version at Giga Texas. Still, these footings must have been updated with the enhanced machines. The footings area for these machines was once open, but it has since been enclosed and is known as the casting machine structure. Idra was sometimes spotted last year, moving the massive 9,000-ton Cybertruck Giga casting machine from its Italian factory to the United States. The Idra Group's 9,000-ton Gigapress is a critical component in the startup of Cybertruck manufacturing. Tesla has over 1.3 million Cybertruck reservations on file. The line is significant, and manufacturing should begin on time and scale up swiftly to begin deliveries on time. This goal may need the use of many 9,000-ton gigacasting machines. Elon Musk's company is watched by many people and competitors. Therefore, it's not a surprise that we find out about every big or small update that's happening there very quickly. Recently, two semi-trucks with massive containers on their trailers were observed near Giga Texas. Because the 9,000-ton Gigapress is the world's most enormous die-casting machine, Idra and Tesla required a flawless strategy to get it to its final destination, Tesla's Gigafactory in Austin, Texas. Idra is sending the Cybertruck Gigapress in components and parts to facilitate delivery. These components will subsequently be reassembled at Giga Texas to restore the machine to its former state and begin the commissioning procedure. For the Tesla Model Y front and rear single-piece underbody castings, Giga Texas offers the smaller 6,000-ton Giga casting equipment. However, this single container seems too massive for a Model Y and is most likely for the Tesla Cybertruck. The single enormous container is most likely the most extended section of the Idra 9,000-ton Gigapress. Tesla intends to spend $770 million on expanding its facility near Austin. The vehicle manufacturer filed proposals within the Texas Department of Licensing and Registration. According to the papers, Tesla plans to construct additional facilities at the site this year. If you stay up to date with Tesla Cybertruck news closely, you probably heard about how Tesla recently unveiled that the biggest of the four projects is Cell 1, a 693,093 square foot building. With a projected cost of $368 million, this project is also the most expensive. Construction on all four projects is scheduled to begin this January and end in 2024. Drive Unit, the project with the next largest size, will measure 423,032 square feet. The project is expected to cost $85 million. At 321,186 square feet, Cathode would be the third largest project and the second costliest, at $260 million. However, Cell Test Lab, the smallest of the four initiatives, will measure only 2,560 square feet, little larger than the typical Starbucks and will cost an estimated $3.7 million. The plant is now utilized to construct some of Tesla's Model Y automobiles. The factory's production was initially hampered by the scarcity of the more efficient 4680 cells that compose its new battery design. Panasonic has said it intends to address the backlog in early 2024 when it begins manufacturing advanced cells at its $4 billion battery complex in Kansas. Musk has said that after the Texas facility reaches total production, the business will concentrate on the long-delayed Cybertruck. Could this be why the Cybertruck production has been consistently delayed? Well, never say never.
Cybertruck is never going to come out, said many critics of Elon Musk and Tesla. But they forget that the Cybertruck was introduced as a prototype by Tesla's CEO in a 2019 unveiling. Remember the same one where Musk smashed the apparently imperishable armor glass windows? Since then, the business has pushed back the production timeline three times, from late 2021 to early 2023 and finally to mid-2023. The Cybertruck debut will provide Tesla an EV entry into one of the most lucrative areas of the US market and a rival to electric pickups from Ford and Rivian, both of whom have launched versions in limited quantities. Tesla stopped collecting orders for the Cybertruck outside of North America in May. Musk said the business had more orders of the first Cybertrucks than we could realistically fulfill for three years after manufacturing began. Automakers often start manufacturing slowly for a brand new vehicle, such as the Cybertruck. Analysts have also warned that a weaker global economy may begin to impact Tesla's sales, which have so far been able to sell every vehicle it produces. Musk predicted that the ensuing recession would endure probably through the spring of 2024. If anyone is going to put a deposit for a car purchase, that means they want it badly enough. In the case of the Tesla Cybertruck, it was expected to start at $40,000 for a single-motor, two-wheel drive variant, with the blindingly fast tri-motor version costing more than $70,000. Initially, the top-spec Cybertruck was supposed to have three electric motors. Musk hinted at plans for a new four-motor Tesla Cybertruck to have a crab-walk capability, similar to the Hummer EV. Wondering why? We'll tell you more. When traveling off-road, the Hummer EV's four-wheel steering allows it to drive diagonally like a crab to avoid stones and huge rocks. Musk also said that Tesla's technology will not operate like a tank in which the left and right hand side wheels revolve in opposing directions to rotate the vehicle on the spot. This is a barely disguised dig at Rivian, which has equipped its R1T pickup vehicle with precisely this functionality. Musk also hinted that if you'd previously reserved a single, dual, or triple motor Cybertruck, you'd be able to upgrade to this new quad motor variant. Despite its alien-like appearance, the Tesla Cybertruck will compete with the non-alien-like pickup trucks on the market. The outside of Tesla's all-electric pickup truck is composed of scratch and dent-resistant stainless steel and has sharp, angular edges, making it very durable. Comparing it with very traditional work pickup trucks is somehow comparing a hypercar with a muscle car. Each one of them is good and maybe better than the other, but both of them are not made for the same customer base.